When a disheveled, bespectacled man named Clark Rockefeller appeared in a Massachusetts courtroom charged with kidnapping his own daughter, the media exposure touched off another investigation. Improved public health has caused the world's infant mortality rate to decline by 60% over the last 40 years. In the same period, the world's average life expectancy has increased from 46 years in 1950s to 63 years today. The negative impact of population growth on all of our planetary ecosystems is becoming appallingly evident. The rapid growing exploitation of the world's supply of energy and water is a matter of deep concern. And the toxic byproducts of widespread industrialization have increased as atmospheric pollution to dangerous levels. Unless nations will agree to work together to tackle these cross-border challenges posed by population growth, overconsumption of resources, and environmental degradation, the prospects for a decent life on our planet will be threatened. I met Rockefeller through a female attorney I knew who called me up one day and said, uh, one of the Rockefellers would like to meet you. I had made a video called Mad as Hell, and uh, he'd seen the video and wanted to meet me and knew I was running for governor of Nevada. So sure, I'd love to meet him. And I met him, and I liked him, and uh, uh, he was a very, very smart man. And uh, we used to talk and share ideas and thoughts. And um, he's the one who told me uh, 11 months before 9-11 ever happened that there was going to be an event Never told him what the event was going to be, but there was going to be an event, and out of that event, uh, we were going to invade Afghanistan to run uh, pipelines from the Caspian Sea. We were going to invade Iraq, you know, to take over the oil fields, establish a base in the Middle East, and make it all part of the New World Order, and we'd go after Chavez in Venezuela. And uh, sure enough, later, 9-11 happened, and I remember he was telling me how <laughs> how are you going to see soldiers looking in caves for people in, in uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan and all these places and, it's, and there's going to be this war on terror uh, which is no real enemy and the whole thing is a giant hoax you know but it's a way for the government to take over the American people he told you it was going to be a hoax oh yeah oh yeah there's no question but many many people came forward and said we know this guy we know him. The United Nations can and should play an essential role in helping the world find a satisfactory way of stabilizing world population and stimulating economic development in a manner that is sensitive to religious and moral considerations. Economic growth is, of course, an in inevitable corollary of a growing population and is essential to improve standards of living. But without careful coordination, unrestrained economic growth poses further threats to our environment. This was a major subject of discussion at the conference in Rio de Janeiro on the environment two years ago. The focus then was on sustainable growth and global development. It was pointed out at the conference that growth is most efficiently managed by the private sector. Well, one of the things they told me was that um, he brought, we were, was at the house one night, and uh, we were talk, he would talk, and he started laughing. He said, Aaron, what do you think women's liberation was about? And uh, I said, I, I had pretty conventional thinking about it at that point. I said, I think it's about women having the right to work, getting equal pay with men, just like they won the right to vote, you know? And he started to laugh. He said, you're an idiot. And I said, why am I an idiot? He said, you want, let me tell you what that was about. We, the Rockefellers, funded that. We funded Women's Lib, you know? And we're the ones who got all over the newspapers and television, the Rockefeller Foundation. He says, and you want to know why? He says, there were two primary reasons. And they were, one reason was, we couldn't tax half the population before women's lib. And the second reason was, 
Now we get the kids in school at an early age. We can indoctrinate the kids how to think. So it breaks up their family. The, the kids start looking at the state as the family, as the school, as the officials, as their family, not as the parents teaching them. Some kind of a Hollywood script writer, but I never saw him do any research at the library on anything. Um, so I thought it was pretty strange. Lulls is a corruption of L-O-L. -L. 